टोडी बाणी भक्ता की एक ओंकार सदगुरु कोई बोले निर्वा कोई बोले दूर जल की माछुली चरे खजूर काहिरे बदलायो जिन हर पायो तिनी छपायो पंडित होए के बेद बखाने मूरख नाम देवो राम ही जाने कौन को कलंक रयो राम नाम लेते ही पतित पवित बहे राम कहत ही रहा राम संग नाम देव जन को प्रतज्ञा आई एकादशी व्रत रहे काय को तीर्थ जाई बणत नाम देव सुकृत सुमत बहे गुरमत राम कहे को को न बैकुंठ कहे तीन छंदे केल आछे रहाओ कुंभार के घर हांडी आछे राजा के घर सांडी गो बामन के घर रांडी आछे रांडी सांडी हांडी गो बाणी के घर हिंग आछे बैसर माते सिंग गो देवल मदे लिंग आछे लिग सिग हिग गो तेली के घर तेल आछे जंगल मधे बेल गो माली के घर केल आछे केले बेल तेल गो संता मधे गोमद आछे गोकल मधे श्याम गो नामे मधे राम आछे राम श्याम गोबिंद गो वाई गुरु जी का खालसा वाई गुरु जी की फतेह दिस बाणी फ्रॉम द श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी फाइंड्स इट्स प्लेस एट अंग पेज 718 ऑफ द श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी द प्रीवियस लेक्चर और द प्रीवियस मैसेज व्हिच आई गेव वाज यक अरज गुफ्ता आफ्टर दैट आई हैव चोजन दिस पर्टिकुलर बाणी फ्रॉम द श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी because our attempt is towards choosing some tough banis by which the people who are doing the adhyan doing the abhyas doing the prayers or reading the guru granth sahib ji can easily understand the meaning of some words which normally people would find it difficult to explain and interpret i have collected a collection of authors works who have done phd in the analysis of shri guru granth sahib ji mixed with some of my own knowledge of translating shri guru granth sahib ji and bringing it to the people who can find it easy to understand shri guru granth sahib ji apart from our 10 sikh gurus beginning with guru nanak dev ji guru angad dev guru amar das ji guru ram das ji guru arjan dev ji guru har gobind ji guru hari rai ji guru har krishan ji guru tek bahadur ji and finally guru gobind singh ji have various messages which are found in various places in shri guru granth sahib ji one or two gurus manis are not inserted in the guru granth sahib ji However Guru Granth Sahib ji also in addition to the 10 Sikh Gurus Upadesh 
have the banis of 15 other saints mainly hindu saints and one muslim saint baba farid also at places there are even banis of devotees so this particular bani which we are today going to interpret is at page 718 of shri guru granth sahib ji and the bani is of a saint from maharashtra whose name was sant namdev ji द बाणी सेज इट्स इन टोडी राग टोडी बाणी भक्ता की एक ओंकार सदगुरु प्रसाद विद द गुरुज ब्लेसिंग वी इयर बाय स्टार्ट द इंटरप्रिटेशन कोई बोले निर्वा कोई बोले दूर जल की माछली चरे खजूर काई रे बकबाद लायो जिन हर पायो तिनी छपायो रहाओ पंडित हो के वेद बखाने मूर्ख नाम देव राम ही जाने Now this means koi bole nirva it means that some say that god is near koi bole dur some say god is far and the situation is that none can analyze what god is a person who tries to analyze god or say something or explain about what the almighty is or who the almighty is is actually making an attempt like that of a fish which will never be able to come out of water forget reaching the branches of a tree like khajur it is that difficult to explain and what god is then it says kai re bakbad layo it means that why do people and learned men waste time in arguments and contentions about the almighty jin har payo tini chapayo those who have attained the almighty never say so that they have attained the almighty they realize the almighty almighty is best contemplated through self realization rahav rahav means pause pandit hoy ke ved bakhane people who are knowledgeable people who are really intelligent they always boast of their intelligence and enter into arguments ved bakhane they try to interpret vedas the upanishads the bible the quran murakh naam dev ram hi jaane your naam dev ji calls himself that by your murakh means the people who are innocent the people who are less knowledgeable but who know god they are very 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 contented and they concentrate on the realization of god rather than entering into arguments this is what the first line of this tuk says after which the second phase of the lines kon ko kalank reho ram naam let hi patit pavit bhai ram kahet hi rahao ram sang naam dev jan ko pratigya aayi ekadashi vrat rakhe kahe ko tirath jaayi भणत नाम देव सुकृत सुमत भये गुरमत राम कहे को को न बैकुंठ गए वॉट दिस मीन्स इज कौन को कौन को मीन्स हो हिंदी मीन्स किस को पंजाबी किस दा मीनिंग कौन को कौन को कलंक प्रहो विच मीन्स दैट विच ह्यूमन बींग हैज इनकर दैट सिन एंड विच ह्यूमन बींग विल हैव हिज सिन रिमेन्ड इफ he or she is engrossed in the name of the almighty kon ko kalank rayo ram naam let hi means the person who takes the name of the almighty remains submerged in the name of the almighty ram naam let hi meaning one who contemplates the name of the almighty by whichever religion or whichever school of thought of religion he belongs to he becomes cleansed of his sins this is what it means ram sang naam dev jan ko pratigya aayi what this means is ram sang meaning the moment he is in accompaniment of the name of god the moment he is engrossed in the thought of the lotus feet of the almighty once the devotee becomes one with the almighty or tries to concentrate on the almighty jan ko jan ko meaning the devotee pratigya pratigya means over here it means a kind of determination the moment he becomes one with the almighty then he becomes one with god ram singh naam dev jan ko pratigya aayi ekadashi vrat rahe kahe ko tirath jaayi meaning once you become submerged with god the concept of fasting the concept of penance the concept of going for tirath yatra all this becomes vacuous all this becomes meaningless the moment you realize the almighty with the purity of your heart bhanat naam dev sukrit sumati bahe 
गुरुमत राम कहे को को न बैकुंठ गए द मोमेंट यू आर समर्च विद द ऑल माइटी देन देर इज नो नीड फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ पीनेंस नॉर इज देर एनी नीड ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ तीर्थ यात्रा और एनी काइंड ऑफ पिलग्रमेजेस संत नामदेव जी ओ यर सेस की द मोमेंट यू आर ऑन द पाथ डिस्क्राइब एंड प्रिस्क्राइब बाय द ट्रू गुरु द ट्रू प्रीचर ऑफ द ऑल माइटी गुरु मत नाम कहे को को न बैकुंठ कहे द मोमेंट ओवर यर गुरु मत मीन्स द नॉलेज इम्पार्टेड बाय द ट्रू गुरु द ट्रू स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर अबाउट द ऑल माइटी गुरु मत राम कहे को को न बैकुंठ कहे मीनिंग द मोमेंट यू फॉलो द पाथ ऑफ द ट्रू spiritual master you automatically become one with almighty then they say teen chande khel ache your teen chande has a very very deep meaning teen chande khel ache the three characteristics of the human being in this world which is prescribed mainly by hinduism and sikhism and practically if you go to see the three broad characters of a human being which are described in sanskrit over here teen chand kel ache teen chand refers to the trigun the three gunas which usually find in sanskrit scriptures which is based on an experiment done by saints about the three broad characters of a human one is the character of sattva satgun which constitutes goodness constructiveness harmonious behavior divine behavior true behavior nirmal behavior gentle behavior then is the guna of rajas rajas these words also find place in the bhagavad gita rajas refers to the normal human being who earns money who does work who does his duties who does work with passion who is very active who is engrossed in the worldly activities warped with sin as well as with good deeds and the third is the character of tamas the tamasic character the tamasic character is usually found in people who are influenced by the bad and the evil effects of society in the dark age in the kaliyug age many people are affected by tamasic they will be usually ignorant about religious school of thoughts they will be ignorant of various kinds of good thoughts religious thoughts instructions by spiritual masters would not appeal to them they will be destructive and they will be chaotic so in this world the world which has got three broad characters here it means teen chand khel ache teen chand khel ache means the world which is engrossed in the broad three characters of its worldly play rahav rahav means pause kumbhar ke ghar handi ache raja ke ghar sandhi go over here it means it gives various examples that in the house of a potter you will find pots in the house of a king you will find the things which are associated to the king in the potter's house you will find the pot and the material of the pot in the king's house you will find the materials which are associated to the king for example his jewelry and various other things बामन के कर राडी अच्छे रांडी सांडी हांडी को over here what it means is in the house of a brahmin you will find various kind of things such as books then agarbattis incense sticks various things which are associated to a brahmin's house vessels in which the havan in which the prayers have to be done बाणिए के घर हींग आछे इन द हाउस ऑफ अ ग्रोसर यू विल फाइंड हींग यू विल फाइंड ग्रेन्स यू विल फाइंड वेरियस अदर थिंग्स व्हिच आर यूजुअली फाउंड विद द ग्रोसर भैसर माथे सीग गो ऑन द हेड ऑफ अ बफलो यू विल नेचुरली फाइंड हॉर्न्स देवल मदे लीग आछे लीग सीग हींग गो इन अ टेंपल फॉर एग्जांपल इन अ शिवलिंग टेंपल यू विल फाइंड द शिवलिंग यू विल फाइंड the uh, things associated with the shivling the things associated with the deity the things associated with the idol teli ke ghar tel ache the person who sells oil you will find everything which is associated with the oil you will find the kashar of the oil you will find various kinds of oil and the oil which he deals in 
jungle made bel go and the forest you find leaves such as the bel leaves and various kinds of leaves mali khegar kel ache similarly in the house of a gardener you will find various things which are associated with gardening you will find various cutting equipments which are used for gardening rail bel tel go various kinds of things which are associated with the gardener you will find at the gardener's place santa made gobind ache gokal maje sham go in the names of saints in the houses of saints and in the spirits of saints you will find the residence of the almighty just as in gokal you will find the abode of shri krishna of sham नामे मदे राम आचे राम श्याम गोविंद को सिमिलरली विद इन द हार्ट ऑफ नामदेव यू विल फाइंड द रेजिडेंस ऑफ द ऑल माइटी एंड द रेजिडेंस ऑफ वेरियस नेम्स ऑफ द ऑल माइटी सच एज राम श्याम एंड गोविंद विच मीन्स दैट द वे अ पर्सन इज वॉट दिस एक्चुअली होल डिस्कोर्स मीन्स इज फॉर इंस्टेंस इफ द पर्सन इज अ तामसिक वॉट विल यू फाइंड इन इज हाउस यू विल फाइंड like you will find various kinds of things which are meant to give food to your passion various kinds of things which will have to do with destruction various kinds of things which will lead to increasing your cravings similarly if you go to a house where the work is treated as worship and the lord almighty is parallel with work and that particular place will also have work as well as the almighty's name but in some places you will also have work presiding over the name of the almighty because in the worldly struggle one has to do a lot of things so things associated with the trade of that particular person are found in that particular place of residence those who are indulged in satvik thought and those who are indulged in true thought in their houses in their way of life you will find works which are associated for the well being of mankind works which are noble works which have got to do with religious things and various things similarly when you are associated with saints when you are associated with people who are submerged in god you will find treasures associated with god you will come closer to god so in this worldly drama which has got divided into three broad characteristics rajas tamas and satvik depending on each and every person depending on the place and location you will find those kinds of things so what namdev ji says over here that those who are submerged in god those who are wanting to find spiritual solace in the almighty's name those people are the people whom one should be associated to wherein he or she can attain the almighty this is what this entire tuk is about the tuk starts with people talk about the almighty people say whether the almighty is close or whether the almighty is far the thing is that almighty is within for which one need not do penance for which one need not even go for long trips of pilgrimages one has to be pure at heart and once you are pure at heart and follow the true scriptures prescribed by the true spiritual masters one can find god in this worldly atmosphere where various kinds of people are there one must associate themselves to true saints one must associate them to true devotees one must be in association of those people who are of satvik nature one must be in association of those people who take the name of the almighty one must be in the association of saints so that one can realize god and namdev says that in true saints like namdev ji himself resides the name of god may it be called by the name of allah may it be called by the name of sham may it be made be called by the name of jesus may it be called by the name of nanak may it be called by the name of krishna may it be called by any other name this is what this updesh at page 718 of shri guru granth sahib ji means wahguru ji ka khalsa wahguru ji ki fatih